evening. The 2010 census estimated over 750,000 residents living in Hidalgo County, a number that according to local experts is certainly below their findings. Hidalgo County is challenging the last census with a piece of technology. Mariano Manzano is leading a project that aims at precising the number of residents through GIS, or Geographic Information Systems, which compares current county figures with digital maps and aerial images, something officials have invested in for over two years now. What we would do is use um, GIS to incorporate other layers, and so we overlaid parcels on top of aerials, we also overlaid 911 address points. So we were able to determine if the actual residence was being occupied at the time, prior to 2010. According to Monsanto's results, so far the county has been able to identify at least 15,000 unaccounted residents, something Judge Ramon Garcia considers to be a loss of funds for the county. Every individual over a 10-year period of time uh, it, uh, is the equivalent of $30,000 a person on, uh, based on what a, both the state and federal government provide county governments. So it's important that we properly count everybody that, that is residing within a county, and that's what we're trying to do. And it is for that reason that some residents of such unaccounted areas are in favor of the county's efforts and would like to see the monies being invested in the community. I think it does matter to have an accurate count, but a lot of times, like I said, it's not, that count is not used for the right reasons. I'd like to see a city park in this area you know, uh, the roads to be fixed. I think it's, I'm, I'm all for it. I think it's very important, you know, that every one of us get counted, you know, so that we get back what's coming to us, you know. One of the reasons I think is we, in this area, we have a lot of people that are not from here, you know. They come from across, you know, and so, unfortunately, they are not comfortable, you know, so they keep a low profile. The county hopes that with these efforts, they can update and revise population data yearly so that federal dollars are appropriately distributed to the citizens of this region. Reporting for Fox 2 News, I'm Oscar Margain.